hello guys welcome back to my channel in this video i'm going to be reviewing a new video editing software that i just found and if you love creating content or you are just starting out in the content creation world or you are a video editor you may want to try out this video editing software that i'm going to be discussing in this video so in this review video i'm going to be taking a deep dive into the features the functionalities and also the overall user experience of this video editing software so I'm also going to be sharing my own honest opinion on what works and what doesn't work so that you can make an informed decision before investing into video editing software like this one. So the name of this video editing software is called Wisecourt. This is their own page. They are saying video creation made wise. Wisecourt is an online automatic video editing software that leverages AI and voice recognition to edit videos for you, right? So you can enhance the power of AI to create engaging videos at lightning speed. So the guarantee is that you can actually edit videos very, very fast with Wisecourt right i'm also going to share my experience anyway so if you want to get started just click on him but before then let's come over to some other things they have right here on the website they, they are saying leverage short videos to grow your audience so you can also leverage on short videos just as you can see this is an interview right and they cropped out just um, a section of the interview where one person is talking right with wise court you can easily turn your long form talking videos into short so impactful clips with music subtitles and auto reframe and of course this is actually a good feature on this software the fact that you can actually turn long form content into short videos and also add clips and uh, music to it and even subtitles this particular setting right here is an auto reframe that means the software will cut the section where you want to um, create as short and just make it to fill the screen Screen, right which is actually a brilliant move because these days platforms like tiktok youtube shorts and instagram reel and other social ads are actually leveraging on short videos right so that would be a very very good thing to do so for me that's actually a very very good future to include into a video editing software like this so you can save time with auto cut silence like in my videos i do have some silence if i just export my video into this software this software will automatically cut out all of the silence for me that's also a good one so long pauses makes even long format videos awkward so wise cut identifies those pauses and deletes them automatically so you don't need to start cutting at the play head all you just have to do is to use Use the auto cut silence that they have in the software which is actually good right that's another good feature and you can also engage with your audience with subtitles and transcription if you look at transcription and subtitles separately that's another software on its own there are some software that all they do is just transcription and subtitles but you can also get it right here with wise cut right so these are some of the features so the next feature is the smart background music that actually fits your videos, right? Another struggle that new content creators have is the background music. I can still remember my very first video on YouTube. Somebody commented in the comment section that the background music was way too loud, right? So in order for you to avoid that, this tool will actually tailor the music to fit your audio. So that's also another good feature they included. I think this is the last one all right so this is the last one which is automatic audio docking right so the automatic audio docking has to also do with the um the voicing and the music that you are adding to your um video they are saying if you are talking in your video you want the music to be in the background so your audience can hear you clearly when you are not talking showing b roads for instance or providing a demonstration you want the music to be in the foreground so Scott uses AI to balance your audio automatically, lowering the music when someone is speaking and increasing it when speech is absent. That is all for the future. Basically, these are some of the features and I really like the um, technology behind this, right? 
they did really really well right so at the top you can see um, pricing and future you can also see help and support and you can also see the more so the most important part right now is the pricing and future so we are going to click on the pricing and futures to know the price of this particular software and how it's going to actually save us right so for the enterprise which is the api stroke custom hours you can contact them to create a custom plan for you so if you are using this for the first time i would advise that you use it for free first right and one thing i like about their free plan is that they give you 30 minutes to edit every month that means it can be renewed right at the end of this month you have another 30 minutes of editing right that's actually good although the quality of that video is going to drop right it's going to drop to about 780p and you also have 2 gig of um storage you also have 30 minutes full length of the video you also have one gig of full size and the sad truth is that you're also going to have watermarks on those videos right so to use if you are just starting out with this particular software you may want to try out the free plan right these are some of the other plans included into the free plan you can get the auto cut silence the smart background music you can also get the ai storyboard you can also get auto subtitles transcription youtube integration ai powered audio docking and limited time premium futures right so that is with the free plan now with the starter plan which is per annual you're actually going to be saving 30 percent and you are going to be paying ten dollars for each month right now with that you are going to get access to about eight hours of video processing right you'll be able to edit about eight hour video per month and the resolution is about 1080p max and you also have 70 gig of storage and also 60 minute file and 3 gig file of um, file length and with this particular plan you don't have any watermark because at this time you're actually going to be paying for it right the same applies with the professional for the professional you have about 30 hours per month and you are also going to have access to about 4k resolution then you have storage of about 150 gig and you also have access to 90 minutes per file and 5 gig per this file size right and of course there is also no watermark right um tool is priced per year but if you want to just do one month and that's what you want you can also switch to the monthly plan which is 15 dollars and 57 dollars per month but if you want to do the per annual you can just use the per annual you save about 49 percent for the professional and 33 percent for the starter so we are going to check out how the interface looks like so before we can see the interface of wise we would need to sign in and create an account so if you want to create an account you come over to get started and just click on get started and it's going to redirect us to the page where we can fill in our email and confirm our email and every other information so what you want to do is to fill out everything right here so i'm going to put in my email here and confirm my email then password and also confirm the password so once i'm done i'm going to show you how it looks like and then we'll create the account so once you are done filling in all of your information you are going to click i have read the terms of use you can click on it to read the terms of use well we are just going to tick it and then we are going to click on create meanwhile you can also find them on their social media platform on facebook on, on instagram and also on youtube Okay, now that we have created the account the next thing we want to do is to log in so we are going to put in the gmail right here and then you put in your password and once you've imputed your password you are just going to click on login as you can see they are saying welcome to wise court right so this is how you can basically create a wise court account if you want me to take you right through the process of editing your videos using wise court i'll leave a video displaying right now on the screen so you can click on it to learn how to start using wise court to edit your videos basically this interface is simple and basic and that's what i like about the software i always hate complex interface because it's going to be very hard to navigate and a whole lot of other things but as you can see it is just basic 
and that's one thing i like about it you can see the media right here this project list then new project and then the home very very basic and that's one thing i like about this software right for me i've used it and the major challenge i have with this tool is the transition right it always jumps from one court to another so the transition is not very very smooth but i like the fact that it saves me a lot of time in terms of cutting out the silence and all especially the subtitles right especially the subtitles and i like the fact that it can actually adjust the music of your video and i also like the fact that it can actually generate transcription for your video and also subtitle which is for me very important you know everybody has different editing styles so maybe this might not suit your editing style maybe this wise cut may not be able to meet your editing requirement but in the long run it's actually going to save you a lot of time so that you can have time to focus on creating more valuable videos so for me i like this software except for the fact that the transitions are not very very smooth i hope they are going to work on that so if you have gotten value please smash that like button i will sincerely appreciate that from you